Welcome back to the channels Super Academico and Blue Eye Patch. Let us keep the reading of my book Cluders, Mare Pop Beyond the Cloud, available on Amazon. In this part we will keep the reading of the chapter for seven months, one more film and all is well. Or is it? Don't forget to subscribe to both channels and like and share the video. Let's go. I helped with the housekeeping. I got supplies for the party. I took calls from relatives who needed directions on how to get to our home, all very common but also laborious. When my father arrived it was almost two in the afternoon. My mother and I had already had lunch, but we had company with him. He asked, Is your friend Marcos really coming? Think so, Dad. I think he misses a family nearby and so was happy to be invited. I knew it was more than that, but I did not have to voice my suspicions. And what about his problem that your mother said? Did he go to the doctor? He said he scored but he still has not. He still denies that there could be any problem with him. You saw the footage I made. Wasn't that strange? Yes my dear it really was. He finished his lunch and went upstairs with my mother to rest. Then they would get ready for the arrival of the staff earlier in the evening. It would have been three weeks since the day Marcos and I talked about him going to a doctor to see what was wrong. I had the mistrust that he was wrapping me with that. But since my dream of the message from the future, my suspicions were not simply that he was in denial that he had a problem. It seemed something more. Something conscious of his part and not just a childish escape from a possible health problem. I took a look at the last preparations for the party and I noticed that everything was okay. I went to my room to also relax a little and then get dressed. Lying in bed and listening to some pop music, I remembered some information I had found in my research on Marcos's possible problem and also on my strange dream. Somehow I already knew, I foresaw perhaps, that there was a relationship between things. A curious reference in pop culture about Marcos's absences and also about time travel via consciousness was that of the TV series Lost. Launched on world television in the mid-2000s, the series told a very crazy story of plane passengers crashing on an island and thereafter deal with a series of strange events. In the case of Marcos's problem, there was a character named Desmond who, for about the third season, began to have some absences of conscience. During the time that he was unconscious his mind went to another time or dimension and settled in him even younger. Then it was as if he could remember things about his future. He was confused and disoriented, seeking some fixed reference that could restore reality. Failure to do so he could collapse and die. Therefore the last season was made a connection of these time travels, with a force of magnetism and also with a concept of quantum physics on parallel dimensions. Unfortunately they did not know how to develop this rightly and they descended into a low spiritualism. In fact it was an interesting read to do, so much so that I did an analysis of the series, after watching a few key episodes and reading things about it and posted on my blog. Something very interesting happened after that. My audience not only increased a lot but also diversified. Now there were a lot of older people accessing and commenting on the blog. My teenage peers may have lost some of their original interest, but they kept following up, otherwise I would have felt a drop in hits and previews. At five in the afternoon someone knocked at our door. They were the first guests of the party. I, mom and dad were already properly arranged and waiting. Every family member was invited. My parents' families come from different cities in the state, but both are close to the capital where we live so a lot of people could come. On the side of my father were four brothers and a sister, all married and with children, which brought to feast about ten cousins of different ages. On my mother's side the number was a little smaller, only three sisters, all of them close and also with children. So there were six more cousins, almost all older than me. My grandparents also came. In addition, many friends of both my father and mother were also invited. About 6.30 in the evening the people who would come to affect this storyline arrived in order to converge to the present moment. Marcos was the first arrived. Half displaced he came from the door answered by my mother to me. I was in the room talking to some relatives. He looked back and forth as if searching for something. 
It was not me, for he had seen myself from the door. At that moment I thought he would be looking for some familiar face beyond mine to not feel so out of character. But that was not it. Finally he came to me. E. Maida. Good evening everyone. My relatives greeted him normally. This is Marcos everybody. He took my hand and kissed my cheek. I also found it appropriate in the face of the situation. But I noticed his reserve mixed with a certain nervousness. Is he afraid to kiss me in front of my family? Thought. Today I know it was not that. What a cool party, Mare. Has everyone arrived yet? I don't know. I looked around to check. I still have a few cousins coming from my mother's side. Why? Oh nothing. Your house looks smaller now with so many people. There are more people out there. Would you like something to drink? Our house was not that big. Maybe for just three people living in it, it looked larger. But actually it was a pretty simple house with two floors, three bedrooms upstairs, living room and kitchen downstairs. The room was large but it was split into two rooms and we had a large backyard. This was something everyone in the house was keen to keep, as we enjoyed sitting outside in both summer and winter. We excused ourselves and went to the bar. Then with drinks in hand we went into the yard. There we began to talk. Cup amenities. Cool party. Thanks. We worked hard for it. How many years are they doing? Twenty years. Gee it's really a long time. It may be, but they get along and try not to bother me too much. I wanted to have my parents more present as well. I understand. Why don't you travel with them? I even got to but they thought it was starting to mess with my studies and also I wasn't developing many bonds. Friends and such. And such. I know. Girlfriends. We laughed lightly. I don't think that's their main concern. Do you really think there might be something wrong with me? He dropped the question right in the middle of another subject, which struck me as odd. I looked into his eyes. They were still half-distant, as if he was watching the surroundings. Marcos, I'm not a doctor yet, but it seemed very strange to me those two absences you had while you was with me. I even researched the... I'm not talking about that, Mare. I was amazed. What else could he be talking about? I'm talking about your blog. You've put more and more things that have nothing to do with your main themes. Your readers, like me, don't want to know about fighting oppression. We want to know about cool films, interesting stories, relationships with effects on our lives, and hope for the future. I haven't liked anything about your new texts. So I ask you if there is something wrong with me, after all you did, people kept reading and I just don't like it. That conversation took a surreal course at that moment because it reminded me of my dream and that people close to me would want to change my way of seeing things and writing. Marcos, I'll try to be as clear as possible. It's not because you disagree with what I've written on my blog that we have to stay in opposite fields. There is nothing wrong with disagreeing. You. I looked at him and his gaze was fixed on something or someone behind me. It was different from the absences. At last he was seeing who he had been looking for since he had arrived at the party. I turned around and I could see him it was the first time in real life but not the first time I had seen him. I hope you have enjoyed this reading. Continuing to support the channel's Super Academico and Blue Eye Patch. Subscribe, like and share the video. Bye bye.